Hello and welcome to the Gamer Jits Duo Podcast number 19. We are on 19 of these. I'm one of your hosts, TB Stack, but you can call me Teddy. I have with me the man of the week every week, Eric. Eric. Otherwise yes. known as Legend, Legend. PVM. Yes. Yeah. And what's this? This isn't just duo this week. <laughs> first, There's a third, yes. our first ever guest, Nate, otherwise known as Tanker. What He's up? Here. The voice of PC gaming, some might call him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we have a guest. It's pretty awesome. We got a, surprisingly not much to talk about. This is one of the first weeks where we haven't had much news. but That's why they brought me on. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah. nope. But as you guys have like seen over the past couple of episodes, we can, we can go on a tangent. We went on a tangent about Bungie. Yeah, for like 30 minutes one it's time true. for like half of the episode and it was it's tell me how I kept it i'm guessing entertaining i'm hoping yeah <laughs> yeah i think so you know and that's yeah. all that matters really that's <laughs> all that matters so what oh also <laughs> we're an entertainment podcast we yes. mostly talk about video games but we also actually not really we kind of split it in half we talk about video yeah. games for like half and then tv for the entertainment other and... half but we also talk about graphic. comics, and whenever there's news about it, comics, movies, all that. That's pretty much it. We mostly, we also bend most of our video game stuff towards PlayStation and Destiny, because that's what yeah. me and Eric do, mostly. But this might be different, because we're talking yeah. about Yeah, it's true. So this other stuff. True. Um, what have we been playing? Uh, let's start with Eric, I guess. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> Bloodborne. Yeah, more and so. more Bloodborne. Okay, like I think I'm almost done with the game. Oh yeah, Bloodborne is also a topic because it came out oh, yeah. last week. It came and out we haven't last been week. Able to so, yeah, Bloodborne it came out, out last Tuesday. The game already. Gosh dang. That's because he's been <laughs> no lifing it. He has like 50 hours in it. I bet. Yeah, I probably. It's do. it's not a normal thing. <laughs> like, whenever I looked at my friends list. Like Eric was okay, playing yeah, Bloodborne. This, this is the weird thing about Bloodborne. I, when I first got, it, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm glad I got this game. I don't think I'll be that into it. I mean, I'll play a lot, but I don't think I'll be into it like all the time. But no, I, I love wrong. it. <laughs> after after you get past that first first like threshold of leveling where it starts to get like really bad and it's hard, everything's just fun. The game is fun. Yeah, I really like it. To be honest, I saw this somewhere. Like, why isn't the leveling? at the beginning like why do you unlock leveling and all that after the cleric beast it doesn't make no much it's sense. not at the cleric beast. it's when you get one insight and you get insight for seeing a boss for defeating the boss or destroying madman's knowledge hmm. okay so that's interesting well i had a madman's knowledge before i got to the cleric beast i could actually use no. that forever ago no, no, no i meant no no yeah it's one yeah it's one yeah if you have one insight you can go back and level up I could have used that forever ago and been leveled up and ready for the, to one-shot the Cleric yep. Beast, but I didn't. Oh, well. I have gotten through the first two bosses, and I'm on the third, and then I stopped because multiple other games. I'm, but, gonna make uh, an, I'm ready. Them. Yeah, I have I have all the supplies for um, going up against the third boss. So. Um, anything else other than Bloodborne? Yeah, Bloodborne. Uh, I, well, I got in... I didn't even go on Destiny because I saw what Zer was selling and it was selling crap. We did the weeklies and got we nothing. We did the weeklies. Like always. Uh, no, no, no dice. Nothing. Um, I got the Mida, the gun that I needed like two weeks oh, yeah. ago. And didn't have it up until like two weeks ago and now I've gotten yeah, two what else? I mean, we played Chover earlier today. That was yeah. fun. Yeah, that's new. That was um, fun. Um, not much else though. I've been yeah. playing, going hardcore on Bloodborne. Yeah. I mean, Bloodborne will do that to you because it's freaking huge. Yeah. Um, I've been playing mostly... Platinum it. Dang, yeah, Eric's trying to platinum it. I've been playing uh, Bloodborne originally. I played a bunch of that earlier this week, which was... G Actually, Bloodborne came out two weeks ago. Didn't it? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it? Or what? No, yeah, it no. must have because... Hmm. This is really bothering me now. I'll just type in Bloodborne release date real quick and see which week it was. It came out. Okay, today's the fifth. Um. It came out. Yeah, the... it was. It was two weeks ago. Okay. It was I, actually. Wait, wait. Did we even talk about it in the last? 
I think we might have, but anyway. Yeah, my, Blood Bowl uh, came out two weeks ago. My it calendar awesome. is blah, blah, blah. super messed up. My calendar is super messed up. Yeah, I don't I don't think we talked about it. I don't what is I guess we didn't what talk is wrong about it. with this? Let me open my calendar real quick. I am all messed up. Because yeah. yeah, I guess yeah, it was two weeks ago, but I we definitely didn't talk about it. Yeah. No. But yeah, um, it's it's really good. We've still been playing a bunch of it because it's huge. Um yeah. I bought Borderlands the Handsome Collection the other I'm day. Going to buy it. Or fr yeah, Eric's buying it today sometime, and I've been playing the poop out of that. It's really good. Like I, I feel bad that I had played. By right. the way, I see that Nate. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nate just no, started just the up, game. I'm, I'm, I'm just updating games right now while yeah. you guys chat. <laughs> mm, yeah, we'll get to you in a second. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Borderlands is, like, I feel bad that I hadn't played that edition of Borderlands, like, originally. Like, it's so, like, the 60 FPS and the way everything looks is, makes the game, honestly, a, a ton different. Than, yeah, I think, than, I think uh, the main problem you had was, like, you had an old system, or and then you put it on a PC, it wasn't running that well, or and, and you couldn't finish it because people were leaving. Yeah, so now I'm playing play. it solo on my primary platform, so... If if they, if I am ever going to finish that game, it will be on like, PS4 to now, like now. So yeah, um, yeah, Bloodborne, Borderlands. I played some Hell Divers earlier, and it was Hell Divers is still a great game. Um, yep, it's a solid did game. the weeklies, freaking chivalry today. We played Earth the other we night. We played Earth. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that was fun. Earth was fun. Earth is yeah. surprisingly fun. Like, I don't even play League of Legends anymore. It's like, and I the meta is just gone, and you can do whatever you want, kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's awesome. Ez Ezreal is super fun in it. Lux was awesome. Sona. Yeah. Sona was is just spamming, <laughs> spamming the heals. Dude, I, played Hec I played Hecarim today, and that was pretty fun, too. Nice. Yeah, didn't they nerf Hecarim a bunch? But but he's still probably super strong. Oh, he's way OP. <laughs> Gosh, I hated Wait, him in the first Earth. Yeah, the oh first Earth, he was just like swinging and everything and like charging. Charging everywhere. All the time. But, like, Persona's fun because you just spam your <laughs> three keys. Yeah. You, when you play Ezreal, you feel like super mobile because right. you constantly have your E, which is like a flash. So you just freaking flash all over the place all the time, like every three seconds. So yeah, Earth is fun. Get um, jump into that if you if oh, you wait, ever that's played that's League of Legends. I don't know what Earth is. So yeah. yeah, League of Legends basically it's a MOBA and Earth is a mode that they released last year on April Fools, where like the cooldown reductions are super short. You're really quick. Your attack speeds like higher. All sorts of stuff like that. Just it's so it's just utter chaos. But fun. No mana use. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No mana. It's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. So if you ever played League of Legends, if you're ever into that, jump into that because I haven't played in like months and I still had a lot of fun. So, yeah, Nate, yes, over here, our guest today. What have you been playing in the past week? Um, I'm kind of at a standstill. I kind of wait and don't have any games out that I've been really passionate about playing. Right. Of course, I'm a big EQ2 fan. EverQuest 2, if you guys don't know what that is. Um, <clears throat> I hop in there once in a while, but I've been getting away from it again. It's just, you can only play so much, you know, MMOs, then yeah. all of a sudden you're just bored of it. And especially when you have three max level characters and all that stuff. But I've been playing a lot of League lately, just, you know, just stress reliever. And I don't know, Smite I play once in a while. And. Yeah. Um, today I played Chivalry with these guys, which was fun. And you know, Chivalry is a fun yeah. game. It was, yeah. Chivalry it's game. it's well made. It's it's really well made. Yeah. But um, other than that, I haven't been playing much. Um, I've been watching a lot, a lot of, um, <laughs> getting ready. Of we'll talk about this later. We're getting ready for the Game of Thrones. Oh yeah. Um, I watched me and my fiance. We watched um, all four seasons within right, like again. two weeks. Oh my gosh. So we're, we're all caught up, ready to go. And then, uh, I don't know, I've been watching f the, all the Flash and oh. Arrow and, you know, The Walking Dead and getting ready for the, the new uh, spinoff Walking Dead oh, that's yeah. coming up here pretty soon. I'm excited for that. Sounds good. Um, 
Yeah, other than that, I haven't been playing too many games actually. Yeah. yeah. Putzing around. No, no new games. No yeah. new games. I'm still I'm still waiting for EverQuest next to start out in alpha <laughs> and beta. That's coming. That's coming up here soon in a few months. So. Cool. Um. <laughs> so let's move on to the news. There wasn't too much stuff, but there is a decent amount that we can talk about. So let's see. Um. What do we want to talk about first? Let's let's save the Halo Five stuff until mm-hmm. like l- like last. Let's let's just knock out the Bungie weekly update stuff so Nate won't feel uh, out of place for too long. <laughs> wait. Oh crap! I put the wrong link. Oh wait, no, there we go. There we go. All right. So Bungie originally like a couple of weeks ago they put in their weekly update for yep. like they outlined a list of features that they were adding in the update that was going to come before House of Wolves. And, like, each week in their weekly update, they've been taking on each feature and, like, expanding upon it. And this week, they expanded upon two of them, which is raid fixes and strikes. So, raid fixes, they talked about, like, how hard it is to fix certain things and why they've been in the game for so long. And it's kind of interesting because the thing, like, it's detailed. Like, they, they have to fix it without breaking the rest of the game, you know? Yeah, it, that's a lot of things. Um, probably when they fixed the heavy ammo glitch, a lot of other stuff might have broken. So. Well, that's why they took so long in putting the heavy ammo glitch mm-hmm. fix out, because they didn't want that to happen. And, you know, it didn't. I mean, there wasn't any like anything noticeable after that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it'll be great to play Atheon and not have the Minotaur regen health. It'll be great yeah. to play... Crota and not have Crota go from a knee from like Shoot kneeling to just pff, slamming you in the face. Also, the sword won't disappear. That'd be awesome. Yeah. That's my least favorite. The sword disappearing is my least favorite. It's the worst. Yeah, it's true. Freaking worst. Because like you go to grab it and you're like, and also when you hold square and it doesn't pick it up sometimes, that's right. also really annoying. Because like you want to just like run by it, grab run it, and keep it. going. But you it's have like, to, like nope. yeah, and you're like, crap, got to turn around. It's really need to kill by a curse, GG. <laughs> so hopefully before House of Wolves, which is going to be happening in uh, Q2, they have not given a release date yet. But they uh, at the uh, opening of the weekly update, they talked about how there will be a release date coming soon for when it will, when House of Wolves will drop, which is awesome. Um, I really hope it's in April, like late April, or er, late April or early May. I don't want it to be in June. I really think a June release date would be horrible. That's that's yeah. way too far away. Um, talked about one other thing, which is strikes and the elephant in the room when it comes to strikes, which is people AFKing in strikes. Right. So they automatically what they're gonna do is they're gonna like ban people who have been consistently AFKing in strikes. And um, they're also adding in, you know, which should have been their launch, they're adding in like a report feature. So you, can, so you can report people for inactivity, quitting, bad connection, unhelpful, unfriendly, cheating, highly skilled, friendly, and helpful. The, the, first, the last three are the good ones. <laughs> helpful, right. friendly, and highly skilled. So I like that a lot. I don't it's understand why that wasn't there originally. But I kind of Bloodborne where you can be like, fine, or <laughs> foul. Yeah, yeah. I am glad that we, we'll be able to not go into a strike and actually have people participate hopefully and Vallas gets his health oh off. yeah there's they're making two changes to two strikes as well um Vallas is from the Cerberus of a yeah three. yeah strike. three um they're cutting his health in by a third so he will be two thirds won't be a like freaking bullet yeah. They Sponge they talked about how he legitimately is a, a <laughs> 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 that popped up on the little screen. That's great, but um, yeah, they talked about how he was he like is the they they even said it themselves that he's like the worst strike in the game because he just takes up too much bullets, and they're also putting the scion flares. They're moving their shields in the dust palace strike for the Xbox players. They're moving their shields down by 15%. So yeah. that's that's pretty awesome. I think those – and they, they said that they tested it, and those strikes feel right in line with all the rest of the strikes now, cool. which is awesome. So that's <laughs> that. Mind. 
Unknown so why the Xbox Design. players and not PS4? Uh, Xbox players do not have the Dust Palace strike. It's a PS. It's a PlayStation exclusive strike. Oh, okay. But um, which, which is weird. Why? Why would they do that? Um, Just PlayStation. Because Activision. Yeah, when Destiny originally launched, they had a deal with Sony where they have like certain exclusives and whatnot. It just uh, oh, okay. it's just a business deal. Because because PS4 is better. <laughs> sure, sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they have. We have two exotic weapons that Xbox doesn't have, and it's it's a timed thing, so they'll get all of this like in September of this year, which is weird. Mm. Because everyone's going to be like, all the Xbox players are going to be super excited for this new content that we've had for like a year. It's going to be really <laughs> weird. But uh, yeah, I really hope that update comes in the next two weeks. I hope it yeah, comes awesome. two weeks from now. I mean, I, I want it to come when we get vault, right now. When do we get vault space then? In that update. Really? Okay, yes, cool. All the stuff that they've been outlining will be in that update. Yeah. Because they're weird they and they update. like to put it's things... Like Destiny 2.0. They like to put things in a giant update instead of releasing stuff when it's ready. Okay. Which, you know, bugs me because we've gone on a tangent about this, but right. Yeah. So, Death's name. Hopefully, all that stuff will come soon. Very excited for House of Wolves. We're gonna be freaking out when House of Wolves like raid trailer drops because oh my. Right. God. I still love raiding in Destiny. Like we don't do it as much because we don't really need need it as much. We have all thirty twos yeah. now, but like. We still, like, and even though we didn't love Crota, it was still a pretty good raid, and, like, it, we did it a ton. So, right. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm very excited for House of Wolves. So, Eric, what do you want to talk about next? Wait, what do I want to talk what about? What do you want to talk about? And then we'll see what Nate wants to talk about. Okay, well, I'll, I'll along. say the little thing about freaking WonderCon. WonderCon's been going on for a few days now. There's not much to talk about, because mostly what it is is a bunch of people cosplaying, and meeting like their uh, significant famous people that they <laughs> look up to, I guess. Yeah. And I, it's a cool place that people talk about games and their favorite entertainment and stuff. And there's there's also panels and stuff that people attend and stuff. So it's, yeah. a, it's a cool thing that happened over the it's been going over the weekend and the past few days. So that's a yeah, thing. Yeah. There's no like news that ever comes out of it, but you know, multiple cons is just. I, yeah. I, is just like meeting and you know just a con doesn't have to be big news with it so that's cool congrats to everyone who gets to go to one of those one yeah day. One, one day we will one day. i really want to if i could choose any of the ones that i would want to go to i would want to go to pax east that would be the one and yeah. well you know e3 but that's that's Dude, a press PAX, thing pax east has to be no wait you would think pax west would be like the the biggest one because that's where all the LA people are. Yeah, but PAX East is the biggest one. West is like probably second biggest. Whatever. Okay, yeah, I can see that because that's closer to the people in Europe. Europe. PAX East was the first one too, I think. I think that's why yeah. it was the biggest. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it started off being the, the first, so went on to be the biggest. Um, yeah. So WonderCon, happy for everyone that went to got yeah. to go. Got to meet your people that you like. Yeah. Get to people. dress up as Korra. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, Nate, what do you want to talk about that's, I don't know, <clears throat> anything in the world? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I, like I said, I've been watching Game of Thrones, excited for the season five to come out in six yeah. days. Six days, um, dang. We're going to have to, like, spoilers. Six days. Spoilers, because I want Teddy to watch it someday. Well, I don't know if it's, it's, it's hard hard to not have spoilers. If, everything's uh, a spoiler in, in Game of yeah, Thrones. Yeah, everything's a spoiler right now. Yeah, Since we're out in season five, but I can say <laughs> that Tyrion is awesome. Peter Dinklage, still awesome yep. character. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm very excited to see what they do with him next. Yeah, dude. In the last especially episode, what, especially if what yeah, last episode, what happened? Oh my god, all that stuff is just so intense. Many people, very so intense. many people, so many people. Yeah. What Eric? Did they die? <laughs> hmm? Yes, everyone got slaughtered. But yeah, I love how that's just your guard for spoilers. Everyone yeah. died. That's always like what you go to. But it describes it well. It does. Okay then. Uh, yeah, it's I've, ridiculous. Yeah, I know that everyone gets. No, that. but I'm 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 very very excited for the come out. Um, I ha I'm actually gonna subscribe to HBO Go. Yeah. So I may even watch well. it the day of. Um, I think it's like either ten or fifteen bucks a month. I can't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh. 
I'm very excited. Other than that, I don't have much to talk about. You guys can ask me questions since I haven't really been on here in a while. <laughs> you know, I might take you up on that around the end. Around the let's, end. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Okay, it might so. be some uh, some questions about that there uh, Netflix <laughs> machine you got in your living room, but <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> All right, around the end, I'll. Uh... We'll do that. Um, we have a, we have a little debate there. I'm good with that. <laughs> um, friendly see. banter. Yeah, I don't know. I'm always just curious. Like it, it doesn't yeah. really ever make much sense to me. That's that's always why I ask yeah. questions. Um, The Witcher three. You know, I Nate, have you ever played The Witcher? It never like played it. I've never heard yeah. of it. Oh really? What is it? Okay. What is it? It. it <laughs> well, then I was completely wrong. I was gonna be like, it seems like a game you would have uh, heard of it started well, off with steam it now. yeah it started off with steam uh, i think i think it launched yeah. on pc and 360 or did 360, yeah, come it was on later? 360. It, they were on there as well yeah they were on 360 but i think 360 might have come later i think it originally launched on pc and then they they were on they steam. ended up on both yeah consoles they ended up so. on pc and 360 That's and fun. they're like really hardcore action rpgs that are just it's... really long really like deep yeah. like there's it's it's like right. skyrim times a billion i started to play one and i was like i am never gonna finish this i got <laughs> both of i got one and two on sale during a steam sale once and then i started playing i'm like nope this isn't happening but and just to give you a scope of how long there's an article on ign by lucy o'brien um that says the witcher 3 is 200 plus hours long holy buckets 200 of plus I mean, so, that seems like a lot, but if you think about it, I put seven, almost 800 hours into Destiny. It's so much, though. <sighs> so I guess I put in a lot of hours into EQ2 also, but yeah, still. Yeah, but, like, that's a rare occasion, you know? Like, not every game you pick up do you, like, put that many hours into. You True. Know? Like, we, and we picked up friggin', I don't know. How many games have 200 hours of new content? Yeah, I mean, that's, it's, pr- it, it's really impressive. That's what I'm taking away from this is like yeah. just from like designing a game, that's mm-hmm. that's insane. Yeah. But um, even I, with Persona, when it has like yeah. seventy to hundred. Persona, even Persona only has like seventy or eighty, but it still shocks me. I'm like, this is a new conversation, like seventy hours in, and I did not hear this before. And it's specifically yeah, that's with this character on this day. If that happened in this scenario, granted, there's this a lot of grinding in between those. Yeah, but things, that's, but that's still combat. There's always grinding in RPGs. It just happens. Right. But yeah, I like stuff like this really impresses me. It, I don't know. I, I'm, yeah. Maybe I'm easily impressed, but it, it's pretty. It's pretty crazy. I might pick up The Witcher Three. Probably maybe. not though, because 200 plus hours. <laughs> Never Dude, gonna beat that. You, you still have. Two games, I, Orleans, dude. Stuff. I have so many games on my backlog right now. It's, I need to stop buying them. <laughs> Me too. And that's that's I why I have games. stopped buying games. To be totally honest with you, I have so many I can but play. But it's it's a good and problem I'm, to have, you know. It's a good problem <laughs> to have because you're like, oh, what am I gonna play? But I have like a hundred games I play. I actually just cleared out my computer and probably probably have actually removed probably 300 gigs worth of computer yeah. games off my computer Dang. 300 gigs though that's a lot yeah 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 but voice crack holy crap <laughs> but yeah. yeah a little bit yeah i i get it i just really like i don't know i like i like the games industry i like following that so whenever a new game comes out that's like doing something different that other games haven't i really like checking that stuff out even oh, exactly. if i don't finish it and uh, and that's great which that's is a great. problem <laughs> but it's just it's just you come to a point where okay yeah, yeah. Look, look, I, I, I bought Diablo for oh right for PS4 PS4 and for PC and I yeah. never get a chance to play it yeah I'm happy but like I don't know I'm happy with uh, purchases that I make that I still spend like a decent amount of time in that I don't ever finish like, like um, I played Diablo for like probably 15 20 hours and I didn't even I didn't come close to finishing, but I I still really enjoyed my time with it. Like I don't oh, regret I buying here. the game. Type same here. I I have, I have no regret buying that yeah. game at all. It's just yeah. It's just... I see what you mean. You like sometimes like I probably should not have bought in. Um, let me think. Dragon Age. Maybe even Dragon Age. Dragon Age is a good example. All the rest, like I don't 
mind, I don't, uh, I don't regret buying like Child of Light or Tomb Raider because those were on sale and I got both of those for like 15 bucks and I still really want to play them. But like Dragon Age is huge. And I mean, I did enjoy mm-hmm. my time with that game, but there's no freaking mm-hmm. way I'm ever going to finish it. Like it is not going to happen because so I, I already have just... Bloodborne and Borderlands okay. and Tomb Raider. <laughs> Child just of Light. do the shortest games and then move up. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. That's what I've been trying to do. I, I still want a platinum Lego Batman three one day. <laughs> That's <laughs> one day. Was, yeah, I I I got on the other day and like almost one hundred percent of the level for like nice. I was only on for like forty five minutes and I was like yeah progress. I don't know, but I'm I don't know I'm just playing whatever is fun. Like I really like mm-hmm. Borderlands at the moment. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about this rumor for Bat the Batman Arkham mm-hmm. series and we can. Talk about the Halo 5 trailers, which I am excited about. But the Arkham Collection, this is completely just a rumor. But the Arkham Collection, I didn't even really want to address it. It's rumored to be on put on the next-gen systems as, like, a collection. Like, every awesome. other past-gen game <sighs> always <laughs> happens. Um, yeah, it's an article by Seth G. Macy on IGN. They're talking about mm. how... It, it was like let out IG in Italy found out somehow I think they found out mm. by like maybe Amazon France because that's how <laughs> right. that's how everything leaks is through Amazon France it doesn't look <laughs> like it but yeah they somehow yeah. found out that like Arkham City and Arkham Asylum will be coming to next gen which I find a bit odd like right. most of the HD remasters make sense because you haven't because there's, like, a big time gap between them or something. Or yeah. The Last of Us, like, everyone just needs to play that game. But, like, this is, like... You play it so once, recent. and it's good. And... <laughs> but it, it was just... Anyways. It was so recent, you know? I don't know. Yeah. But people who haven't played those games and are big, ba- big Batman fans and didn't have a PS3 or 360 or PC... Right. And, you know, good for them. It's just, like, I, I'm not gonna bother... Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure Andrew will, and he'll platinum it. <laughs> probably <laughs> probably within a couple of days of coming out. So, Halo 5 trailer. Wait, Do you guys hmm. want to, like, sync this up and watch it together? We can. Here. Yeah. I will put Uh-oh. it over. Later. Well, why don't you just share your screen and do that? Well, I'm putting it over on the... Um, so, so, people... So, people... Can yeah, people will, can see it from my screen, but I was just saying for you guys. So, while you're setting up... Wouldn't it be cool to see a uh, Uncharted Master? That is the one that I want I more mean, than I anything. I haven't like played life. them. Yeah, Eric hasn't played them, and he's getting Uncharted Four, and it's like he doesn't have a PS3, but he has a PS4. Why isn't there an Uncharted collection? Uncharted is yeah. one of the biggest PlayStation franchises. Come on, make make some money. Yeah, come but, on. But um, <laughs> dude, I was that was one of the E3 predictions that I was gonna add. Because I've, like, oh, yeah. we should... You should... Yeah, speaking of E3 predictions, one of mine are, are, is already, like, oh done. God. Yeah, he, predict, Battlefront. he predicted Battlefront gameplay from EA Coming and out DICE. This month. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to come out sometime in April. So. Battlefront? So. Yeah, Battlefront really? gameplay. Yeah. G- gameplay of it, not... Yeah, mm, the actual might... game is supposed to come out in the fall. Yeah. I really hope that game is good. Because <laughs> I have yeah, so many nostalgic so. memories for... Yeah, anyway, for... Halo 5. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but one more note on the Uncharted thing. Seriously, please, I'll buy it immediately. Like, <laughs> like I, I will, like I will, I will like platinum that as soon as possible. <laughs> I'm still working on the Uncharted Three platinum. Like, I still go back every couple of weekends and like get through a mission on Crushing. I still really like those games. All right, so, Spartan Lock trailer is the first one. I'm at zero. Yeah, I'm at zero Spartan too. Lock trailer. Okay, I'm at zero. I have the annotations off. I have it on 1080p. I'm ready to go. All right. Um, I have the volume. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one, play. RP, rating pending. Rip. <laughs> Rip. I got to turn mine down a little bit. All hail the conquering hero. Let us remember him as our protector. Oh, for audio listeners, 
Locke is walking out this. of a thing looking onto a ruined city, speaking a monologue to a Master Chief statue. <laughs> Let us see him forever as you, and not as you. When he said that second one, he looked down and Master Chief was Only on the floor wounded. The conquering hero. The one who was supposed to save us all. Master Chief is wounded. But now I must save us from you. And the trailer ends with Locke drawing his pistol on Master Chief, saying that, and it says hashtag hunt the truth. Like, those trailers aired during the Walking Dead season finale. Holy crap. That was epic. I know! I don't even play Halo, and I really, those, like, th just as a trailer, those are so good. And also, if you notice the Master Chief statue there, yeah. it's unscathed, and it's pristine. Yeah, and in the next one, it's, like, super crumbled. Yeah. Basically, this next one, eh, I'll... We don't... I'll explain it for the, um... For the audio listeners, we can watch the next one, but um, yeah. I'll explain it before we watch it so that the audio listeners aren't right. super confused. Um, basically, it's like the identical thing. Like, Master Chief walks out. He's he's on a ruined city, too, but it's like way... Like, the statue of himself is way more ruined. There's like a chip in the head and all sorts of stuff. And he's like doing a monologue, basically like talking to himself type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then he looks down at... Um, at Locke. Locke, who is wounded and in the same position under the statue. So, here. Do you guys want to watch it? I want to watch yeah. it. Alright. I'm at zero. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Go for it. Alright. Three, two, one, play. Rating pending, of course. <laughs> yeah, this one's is way more dust flying about this. this. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you were looking for? Look in the back, you can see the infinity ship. Everything you've done. Broken. Was it? In the sky. Was it? Yes. Yeah, you've completed your mission, Spartan Lock. Is just beginning. Hunt the truth. And here's the thing: what is Locke's mission? Because people have been thinking maybe it's to destroy Master Chief, but Master Chief just said his mission is completed. Which that's a good means... point. Or maybe he's just saying like your mission's completed, out of spite. as in like, and well, not really out of spite, just as in like it's over. Yeah, it's you're over, dead. bud. Right. Like you can't like it Try. may not be officially completed, but like this is all you can do, type of thing. Yeah. Um, I have never played like a Halo game all the way through. I've played it before because I've like been to friends' houses who have Xboxes and whatnot. But I'd probably just play multiplayer though. I mean... Yeah, I really, really, really want to play the Halo games now. <laughs> like those trailers are so epic that like I've heard for years that there's this massive story and universe behind the Halo games and like oh, yeah. I really want to get into that. So may I? I told Eric that by. I might be able to save up and by the end of the summer get the Master Chief bundle because it's really kind of cheap. Like the Xbox yeah. One, it's you can get an Xbox One with the Master Chief collection and a controller and all that for the 350, which is not bad at all. So yeah, I might try and like just store up some money and uh, get that yeah. by the end of the summer because I might too. Holy crap! <laughs> imagine I can imagine doing co-op. On all yeah, dude. games. Yeah, so dude. good. So, yeah, I'm, I, I'm excited for that, and I most likely am not even going to be able to play it. So <laughs> they, m Microsoft is on their game when it comes to marketing right now. That's, that's all I have to yeah. say. They also, when they release those, they released them during The Walking Dead, and one came out, and then like 30 minutes later during another commercial break, the yeah. Master Chief one came out. Locke was first. And then it was pretty epic how they did it. Yeah, it, because you saw the lock one and you thought that was it. And then I yeah, saw somewhere yeah. on social media that they're going to be releasing another one that's Master oh. Chief, and I was like, oh snap! So two different perspectives. It, the uh, um, it seems that Master Chief is 
from, uh, has left the USMC, which is like the uh, futuristic army. Yeah. And Oni, which is the Secret Service of the future, pretty much. Uh, it sent out Locke to probably find something out about Chief or exterminate Chief. My favorite theory so, is that like Locke was base is basically like hunting down Chief because Oni is like making him Chief do something that's like for the greater good actually, but like to yeah. the outside world, it seems like it's horrible because right. like we don't know all of what our Secret Service does. You know what right. I mean? You, they they definitely act in secrecy because you know secret, yeah secret secret, secret service. service yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I really want to play that but also I was gonna say when they released that um, they also released without telling anyone they put up on SoundCloud three different um, audio Those recordings as well yeah if you search on SoundCloud hunt the truth like three different audio recordings will come up of like a journalist looking into master chief's like childhood yes. yeah which is and awesome. they make a lot of references to like, the halo 3 trailers into it like there's a halo 3 trailer where master chief and this girl are sitting there and they reference that chick and they talk to that chick as she's she's like in her 30s now or something because master chief is like in his 50s now dang so he's an old he's an, old, he's he's an older fart. guy <laughs> yeah, an old fart <laughs> um running around in space and have yep. a heart attack <laughs> all the <this> stress <laughs> 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 walking around with a cane. <laughs> Halo 6, he's walking around with a cane. <laughs> Beating but... people with a cane. Like, the cane is the sword of, like, the multiplayer <laughs> mode. That'd be awesome. It's like the threaded cane from Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> this turns into a whip. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I really want to play it. I thought people would really appreciate this. So, now, we can talk about our dang TV shows. Yep. Like there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I think normally we start in the orders of like what happened first, like Sunday, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, like Walking Dead, Flash, Arrow. But I think we should get Flash and Arrow out of the way so that we can talk about the Walking Dead because it was a huge <laughs> finale. So <laughs> Flash. To oh, be then... honest, it's been so long I don't even fully remember. Uh, dude. Like... I remember Arrow. Flash. A lot of. Oh, you don't stuff. remember Flash. Not. Um, what? too much oh wait yeah i remember it now yeah i remember i remember the ending there, there was a the review was awesome um what was it yeah and that Gilbert trailer Thon's real yeah they did body. flashbacks like in arrow yeah but it was for harrison no, they revealed you, you guys happened. want to say spoilers though yeah yeah oh, spoilers yeah. but spoilers. They, <laughs> they know when we get they should know but when we get to this section that we always yeah. Like, we basically just recap what happened in the freaking episode. Because <laughs> yeah. it was so awesome. But, yeah, dude, Eobard Thawne. Like, the big... Like, it, it makes sense now. Yeah, yeah instead really of just be like, now. wait, Harrison Wells, where did he get that name? Where, where is yeah, this exactly. persona come yeah. from? Yeah, persona, so, yeah. I, I thought it was a pretty kind of twist. That it's yeah. always been there. Yeah, dude. And now we, now yeah. we know why he's that way. Yeah. yeah, we definitely know that Eobard Thawn is from, like, the way, way, way future. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. definitely. Because he's like, got holograms and freaking... It's true. Uh, what is it? Um, genetic camouflage. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But freaking... He, like, sticks them, like, with a USB port. <laughs> yeah, it, it made, like, a freaking... It made a sound like a knife going into something. You yeah. know, just, he's just like... And then, like, he he's like... <laughs> stole his body. But... Yeah. I feel really bad for Harrison Wells, like yeah, the original Wells. Harrison cool Wells. Yeah, dude, he was just trying to advance science. He was talking. He was living a nice life with his wife. They were yeah. just gonna advance science together and live a happy little life. But no, it was kind of sad. Yeah, it was kind of sad. He had it to was like, mess it up. Literally, this guy had to ruin their life for like right. his own selfish reasons. Right, and like, back to his future, I'm guessing. So yeah. wait, Harrison Wells is oh, like does not exist. That's really no, he's, he's dead. dead. He died. Yeah, he yeah. like yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like that's as soon as that happened, about. I was like, he just killed Harrison Wells and like took his body. Type it, of so thing. it's never been Harrison Wells. No, nah, it's like all wait. along been Eobard. So like, so did, disguising himself. Did he blow that thing up on purpose then to create yes. the Flash? Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah. That was all making sense. Okay. Yeah, because originally when he talked to him, he said when he talked to Harrison, he was like, in 2020, you're going to turn on a particle accelerator, which is going to change the world of science. But if I'm going to get back to where I need to go, I'm going to need you to do that five years sooner. So, and then that's he, crazy. Yeah. Which is just awesome. Like, I don't know. I really like The Flash. That so, show is so good. If you see the uh, previews for the next episode, you see, what, who was it? It was Joe looking at the, the bones, probably of Harrison dude, Wells. And I'm like, oh. Dude, Harrison oh, Wells yeah. Dude, I never connected that. That's probably what they yeah. were looking at. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. GG. Wow. Do you guys want to talk? Bones. Do you guys want to watch that Flash trailer and we can, like, dissect it? Because we... there was so much in that trailer. Yeah, I, where I'm is doing it? that. I'll find it real quick. You just go to YouTube Wait. and type in CW, and they have the most recent one. <laughs> yeah, there was so much awesome stuff in that trailer. Like, also, for people who are fans of these shows, they're taking a break. Again, for the 20 what? billionth time. There's what? no Flash and Arrow this week, I told you this. What? No, yeah. they're taking like a two-week break. Yeah. Uh, it's quite annoying. Uh, uh, it's coming back on April 14th. Oh, there's April another week. <laughs> a week. Yeah, it's just a week. So it's it's not too bad. And when it comes back, it's going straight until the finale. There's another Flash confirmed. trailer, actually, for 30 seconds. It's just a 30-second cut-up of the other one, ah, okay. I would assume. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I would guess. Um, the other one we're looking at is the future revealed. Uh, the one we're looking at, sh- yeah, it's the future revealed. You're right. Right here, I found it. Right here, it starts off with Harrison Wells looking at uh, Gideon. I want to know more about Gideon too. That's well, pretty cool. Obviously, she's from the future. Well, and- obviously. Oh my gosh. I wonder how much technology he brought from the future when he came. Oh, wait, a ton. Yeah. I mean, oh, when he went back in every, time, everybody's everybody's been influenced now that it's been, whoever's been working with Harrison Wells. This is true. The fake Harrison Wells. It's true. All right. Um, I'm gonna let's just watch this all the way through, and then I'll cut back to a couple of like frames that has some really like. important stuff. Yep. Yeah. All, all right, right, I'm ready when you are. I'm at zero. Okay. Three. Unless Eric's not ready. Eric? I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, play. Show me the future. Show me the future. The season <laughs> on the flash. They killed my mother. I know what you're thinking. Dave, we need your help. That, like, oh my gosh. I'm Ray. I'm Ray. The They're showing so much crossover stuff. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, oh, let's go back at, a back an episode after this, though. Yeah. Yeah. After the whole thing goes through, we'll talk about multiple stuff. And the reverse flash have to do with each other. They're the same person. Anybody that knows Oh no, Inception. I warn you not to mess with the timeline. Hello, Cisco. Oh man. Anymore, especially who I can and can't trust. The real end game is almost here. Then face me now. Barry, move. Don't make me do this. I promise you, Barry Allen, you will die. Uh, I love it so much. Also, flash shirt themed okay. <laughs> unpurposefully. Oh, dude, I love this show. It's so, so, so I just want to go back a couple episodes and say I was very sad when they killed off uh, Cisco there for a second. Yeah, I was like, no. I was like, what the? Frick? Also, comic spoilers. Um, I don't know if you know this, Nate. <sighs> Eric knows this because I told him, but. Cisco in the comics is a character named Vibe, who is like his own superhero. Just tossing that out there. Yeah. Huh. Caitlin, also comic spoilers, is a villain named Killer Frost in the comics. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I but the <sighs> thing is, is like I don't think they're gonna do that for a long time. Like the characters Cisco and Caitlin are so far away from that. Like, they are yeah, yeah. their own characters right now, which is awesome. I love Cisco and Caitlyn. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, they don't need to be anything else. Yeah. About this trailer uh, is Cisco meeting Laurel. Yeah, I thought that was great. And um, 
He's going to make the canary cry for her. Yeah, he's going to make the little, like, canary cry. I wonder if they're going to be like the, um, whoa, the dude. What if it's, like, on her, like, wrist, like, arms type thing? Or, like, because that's what he uses in the comics as vibe. Like, he has, right. like, arm things that do, like, vibrations. What if he did that but with, like, sound for her instead of, like, yeah. the little grenades? That'd be so awesome. Be awesome. But, okay, let's... I'm going to look at this trailer a bit and highlight the big points. So moving on here. First big point is a clip, a shot of Barry, Oliver, and Ronnie. All standing there. Ronnie's Firestorm. And, of course, Professor Stein. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're both there, I guess. And the big thing is that Oliver is in League of Assassin gear. Yep. So that's something. <laughs> Spoiler. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Ray I, I, drops in. I think he has to, though, to be he totally does. honest with you. Yeah. like Just the, to save everybody. Maybe. The show, yeah, he's been screwed over like, him. he, they <sighs> announced that it was him, like, over the airwaves, like Oliver Queen, yeah. the GG. I don't know if he well, can ever then, go back. Then, and then, but Roy yeah. stepped in. But still, it's get, like, could he go back to being him? I don't know. He I can't be hero anymore. Yeah, like, he still can't be the Arrow anymore, though. That's what's weird, is, like, after all that, he, he just can't. Not in Sterling, at least. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Ray dropping in. Let's see. I'm Ray. And then Oliver. Or, I am yeah, Ray. <laughs> Cisco and Laurel talking. Um, This shot right here is three... Um, Actually, no, they're not all metahumans or whatever. Um, I think the guy in the middle on this shot that I'm showing for the viewers, I think he is Captain Boomerang. The other two, I don't know who they are. They might be new. They might be old. What, what time um, is it? Uh, 21 seconds. 21. Um, 26 oh, yeah. seconds. Joe down there with Grodd. GG. Yeah. Um, let's rip, see. Rip Joe. Rip Joe, yes. Um, yeah, here is freaking Joe, Cisco, and... Captain Lance working together, which is awesome. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and then bones. Yeah, that yeah, that's the bones you were talking about. Probably and then, hers and Wells is yeah, bones. Which would be insane. So so him. is what's the gorilla's name? Uh Gorilla Grod. Gorilla Grod. Is he a good or a bad character? He is a huge villain. Like, imagine he like, okay, Batman, the Joker, is like Batman's arch nemesis. But you oh, really? can say, like, the second biggest arch nemesis for Batman is, like, Bane, probably. Something like that. Bane or Two-Face or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. It's yeah. basically, like, Gorilla Grodd is the Flash's, like, second biggest villain, without a doubt. Like, it's next reverse to, Flash. Next to the re 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 yeah, reverse Yeah, it's Flash, reverse it's Flash, Grodd. and then Grodd. Grodd, in the comics, is a gorilla that can mind control people. Ooh. With it, like, and you know how we saw so him is a it bit. Like, genetically enhanced gorilla that yeah. somebody can, make him, he can, or? He can talk. He can communicate to people telepathically. He can, like, he has machines that can, like, mind control people. And mm -hmm. basically, sometimes he, the main thing is that he wants, like, everyone to be gorillas. Like, he thinks that gorillas are, like, you know, PC so, master race type thing. So, <laughs> plenty of the over again. Yeah. Like, he basically. <laughs> But he, he has a gun that can, like, turn people into gorillas. Like, he's oh. not exterminating everyone else. Sometimes, okay. I, I guess he is. But, yeah, that's the big thing. So, season two is probably going to be oh hugely gosh, about dude. Grodd, which is going to be cool. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's going to be interesting how they do that. Yeah. Um, then back to the trailer, Cisco and Harrison. Harrison's walking in, and it's, like, the same set, like, the same moment of when... He like just quote sad. unquote killed Cisco. Yeah. They're not gonna kill off Cisco. No, no, I hope not. That'd be horrible. Eddie shooting the cops, which is pretty insane. Another shot of them standing in front of the building, Oliver and Barry and Firestorm. Um, let's find the important stuff. There's a couple more big things. I wonder what's going to Eddie because he's not even like shooting the cops without hesitation. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I don't know, dude. By, um... Super interesting. Um, Barry, right here, fighting a clone or something. He's literally fighting somebody in his same outfit. Um, keep going. You see this girl? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Rewind, rewind. Who is this weird-ass looking guy? 
what at the end around the uh end? no 53 53 seconds into that's it that's around the end i don't know that's what i was gonna get to he is some sort of uh metahuman he's some yeah. sort of new metahuman i i don't know he is something are we, we metahuman back from let's say guardian of the galaxy not guardian of <laughs> the galaxy or something like that yeah <laughs> something like star wars or something <laughs> yeah i don't know he looks weird um let me go back to this chick um there's this chick in this chair and she's like you know behind a bunch of computer monitors and she turns around she's blonde if you go through it the first time you kind of think it's like felicity just out of instinct but that is definitely not felicity like she turns around and you pause but if you look at it there it looks like a honeycomb which is like five which which goes to my next point which is this soldier right here hive soldier Look at his helmet. That is definitely a Hive soldier right there. So Hive is coming by the end of the season, which is a big name for people who know like more DC stuff. Hive is like a big, if you don't, Hive is like a big organization, kind of like Argus. They operate more like, they literally operate like a beehive. It's, mm. it's interesting. They have like, you know, like up until the queen, they have like hierarchies or whatever. But they... Interesting. Yeah, it's in the Arrow episode of like two weeks ago. At the end, when they were doing the Deadshot flashback, the chick like flashes the money, and then she was like, "We like to call ourselves a hive or something," and like she literally dropped the name. So that is wow. definitely coming. Um, yeah. Let's see if there's any other big things. The new metahuman, Oliver drawing his bow on Reverse Flash, Reverse Flash on top of Oliver. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Barry running after a bullet. <laughs> and that is it. Yeah, Barry running after a bullet. And that's it. The Flash is awesome. <laughs> it's so good. I'm so excited. Like, that trailer is insane. So that's it for The Flash. We gotta move on to Arrow real quick so we can talk about The Walking Dead. Um, so Arrow... everybody's dying. Yeah. Everybody... <laughs> Maybe not dying. But... Everybody's getting shot by an, by considerably the arrow. Yeah. Yeah, like the basically it starts off with Captain Lance just like, all right, uh manhunt on Oliver. Like or, or on the arrow. So like the whole what was so awesome is like the whole first like ten, fifteen minutes is just an action scene. Like it, it just oh. goes. And the, it's just like running from the police. And it was just that action scene was really awesome. And then they race like kidna kidnaps uh, Captain Lance. And then he wakes up and he's like, I have something to tell you. His name is Oliver Queen. And then Lance, you know, goes after Oliver. And then Oliver turns himself in. And Oliver's, I don't know. It was so crazy because Oliver was like on the run. He had nowhere to go. He was in Diggle's apartment. And then he goes and turns himself in. He's in a van. He's going away to the prison. Captain Lance is back there, trash talking him, smacking him in the face, being a jerk. And then Roy, like the the police van stops. He's like, "What are your What are your people doing?" And he's like, "I don't know. I told them to stand down." And Roy is like on top of the police van in the arrow suit, and he jumps down and he's like, "You got the wrong guy. I'm the arrow." So he's like trying to take his place in the prison, which is pretty interesting i don't know man after mm -hmm. all of that like we were talking about earlier oliver like how can oliver go back to being the actual arrow yeah exactly Is everything everything's all screwed up and as we saw in later on in the new s flash slash arrow slash combo of the atom <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> uh you know he's in uh what the the league gear the league gear which is weird yeah, like, and if you see the trailer for the next one, we're not going to show that because we don't have much time. But if you guys go watch the trailer for the next one, for the next Arrow, like, he's basically, it, it hints very much at, like, I have no other choice type of thing. So, right. I am very excited for next Arrow, but we got to wait a couple of weeks. Also, that reminds me, I don't normally wear my gunners in these. Yeah. So, GG. I normally <laughs> take those off for the podcast. <laughs> Oh, well. but um, yeah, Arrow is awesome, like always. Flash is awesome, like always. Walking Dead <laughs> wrapped up. 
the season five of the show. Yeah. And it was not like most finales where it's like, oh, this is big conflict or whatever. It kind a ton of, of people are going to die. Yeah, the actors are going to get killed uh, and we're going to yeah. lose our favorite characters. And yeah, it really happened. And yeah, to be honest, and, they, and there for a while, as we're watching, it looked like somebody was going to die. A couple yeah, people were going to die. Like Glenn. What, yeah. Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> that's what was so brilliant about this finale is that they know that's what we were expecting. Like they know that that is what we thought was going to happen for this big season finale. And they're like, they kept teasing it. Like, Oh, it's, it's happening here. It's happening here. No. And by the end, Nope. By the end, like there was this one moment where like, a little bit of music was playing or something and it showed like Sasha like all this conflict that was escalating stopped yeah and it was over like Sasha was like about to shoot freaking or spoilers Sasha was about to shoot Gabriel and uh Glenn and the douchebag guy in the woods were fighting and like he was about to kill him and it all ended with like Glenn just like decided against it you know and he pulled him up and they started and then they showed clips of like they started walking into the town the sasha and gabriel and um so oh, what's her face maggie came in maggie. And broke yeah they were they were all like huddled together trying to be like nice and then the big thing is so that was awesome because it i don't know i didn't expect it to be a happy quote-unquote ending I mean, there was still some crazy stuff that happened with Rick at the end. But, so, yeah, basically the premise is that they were, like, they were waiting for Rick to get there because it was, like, a meeting about what had happened in the previous episode. <laughs> and they were waiting for Rick to get there. And Rick finally gets there, and he walks in with a walker and just <laughs> throws it down. And he's like, you see this? This got in. I didn't let this in. You let this in. So, and then he, like, goes on this awesome speech of, like, I mean, I, this is what we got to be. Sorry. I'm sorry, but this, you guys got to do is, this. This is the world now. They, yeah. There's no, it's no, you know, smelly roses and yeah. and all this stuff. It's, yeah. it's the walking dead. Everybody's dead. Those people were, like, dumb and living in ignorance. They were, like, yeah. super lucky that they had a oh, yeah, yeah, that Oh, yeah, yeah, we got a huge-ass wall, but one little mistake. Everything yeah, can be right. gone because yeah. it's it's big gone for him. He's had that yeah. multiple times. He's had the farm. He's had the prison. He's had, um, you know, other places. Bob, I don't know. Like you know. Totally yeah, true. Totally yeah. True. So, so yeah. I mean, and, and, then, then, and then yeah, Pete. Yeah, he walks. He walks in and he's like, "You're not one of us," and he. <laughs> He was like the, crying, sort of. He was a freaking emotional wreck, that guy. And he had Michonne's, yeah, yeah, a katana or something. He had Michonne's it. katana that he oh. got off of the wall. And he was walking in. And um, do you guys know who that guy was that died? That's the uh, that was of the congresswoman. Yeah, yep. he was her husband. Yes. Okay, yeah, I thought so. So the, he's the en- he's the engineer that built all the walls. Yeah. yeah, the engineer, the congresswoman's husband. He was like. Back up, son. What are you doing? Back up. Get out of here. And he just took the sword, went like that, just... right, right across the throat, like in pure anger of like, better get off of me. And then he was like, ah, freaking Hulk, you know? And then the guy fell over and he was, what was so graphic about this is that there, there wasn't like any deaths before this. This was like the, the first death in the finale and it was in the, like the last five minutes. So we were like waiting for it the whole time, and then it happened. Yep. And well, I mean, it, now. it delivered because it was very gory. But like, he was dying in her arms, and yeah. like immediately Abraham, like you know, restrained the guy. And Rick had Rick, his gun. Rick, oh, Rick was like holding his gun, and Carol looked at him like, "No, get your hand off the gun." So he stopped, and then she she just looked at Rick, and she's she like. She- Rick, do it do it do it <laughs> do it he just he like, immediately it was super quick he's just like, <laughs> and then he like stared at him for a second and then and then this is what kills me people don't get this and, and you know the whole time morgan was there like morgan nope, was throughout it, the whole episode which was 
awesome. Like the beginning scene. I'm so glad that they're bringing him back. Bo, like, yeah. oh, that was cool. But yeah, so Daryl and uh, the first gay guy. I don't know. His name. <laughs> oh, uh, not Eric. Not Eric. I think it, um, it might be Aaron. No, it's a very simple name. Yeah, I don't. I don't George, Bob, name. Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Yeah, That's it's a, Aaron sorry. and Eric. That yeah, was... so he and Daryl brought Morgan in, and literally, this is like the last couple of seconds of the episode. So he shoots him, and then, like he, lo- you hear Rick, and then he he looks up, and he's like, him and Morgan are looking at each other, and it ends. <laughs> And, like, and what's and what's so weird is last time we saw Morgan, he was going insane, and yeah. now Morgan sees Rick shoot this guy at point blank range, not knowing what's going on, yeah. and Morgan's like, "Oh my god, dude, he's going I, insane." I bet you money that Morgan, like, uh, I feel like Morgan. I mean, he d- probably could have thought that, but I bet you money that Morgan knew that, like, he he probably right as that scene cut, like they probably like bro hug. You know, I don't think Morgan would have cared. He had been looking for Rick. You don't think you don't think he would care, but Morgan's all like peaceful. He doesn't yeah, want to have to kill. Yeah, but he has with the um, wolves. He didn't kill them. He put them in the car. Yeah, but he, you know, no, he has. I think he doesn't I think he knows it I has to be done. I think they were dead. No, they came back and they drained that guy and in, in, to reset the trap at the trailer trucks. Those guys, those are the guys that Morgan knocked out. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, and they they cut that guy in the red jacket. I didn't notice that. Okay, but um, yeah. yeah so, what kills me? I tweeted about this like the day after the finale. Is like, I don't think people understand. This is probably the biggest cliffhanger, it, or one of the biggest cliffhangers that has ever occurred. This is a, this like Morgan meeting Rick and them being in the group together finally is a moment that they've been building up since For... episode one, season one. Yep. Five That's years. True. Five years this show has been going years, on, yeah. and they've been and, building and, it up since then. Like, and that's they enjoy Morgan here and there, and then little hints yeah. throughout the whole entire season of season five. They've been giving off little hints until the last, like, three episodes we finally get to see him. Yeah, it's, so. it's crazy. that And... It's what's so awesome is that people didn't like freak out about that because it was because such a good episode. Like yeah, they were forgave satisfied it. that the cliffhanger didn't really affect people. Yeah, like most of the time, if there's a big cliffhanger, like if that episode wasn't nearly as good, I would have been like, "What? They cut it right there!" But yeah. it was so good that it was just another like cherry on top that it was like perfectly laid out. Yeah. But uh, seriously, they like to see. Like, I'm sure as soon... Like, what I really hope is that season six starts right there. Yeah. Right there. That would be... Which it won't. It won't. But that would be so perfect. If, like... that That's what Colin, uh, Colin Moriarty... He always says if they were to do A Last of Us 2, that, that he wants it to start Joel right. and Ellie looking at each other on that hill. Go. Mm. Like, the, mm. that's what I want season six of uh, The Walking Dead to be, which would be That would so be really cool, cool if they did that. Yeah. <laughs> they would never do it. So, but. so, so quick, bring up Fear The Walking Dead. Yeah, the, the spinoff. spinoff coming yeah. up. And what I read up on that, I actually did some reading and watched a couple videos. They're actually going to run this. It'll start a couple, like a month before The New Walking Dead comes out. That's pretty cool. And... and so watch some of this, and I guess if it goes well, they already got it's already a contract or or whatever that they're gonna have two seasons of Fear of the Walking Dead. Yeah. And if if that goes all well, in those first two seasons, they're gonna kind of fast forward and get caught up with the yeah. original Walking Dead, and they're gonna kind of intermingle kind of what the Arrow and and the Flash are doing right now. Mm-hmm. That's what I've heard. <clears throat> Eric, did you know? That the actor who plays Lexa is supposed to be in it. In Fear? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's one of the big reasons okay. that she stepped aside in the season two finale. Like, for real. Because oh. she's not going to be able to be a regular in season three. That makes sense now. She's definitely going to show up in season Maybe three. that means she's going to die. I wish. From, by the hands of I Clark. wish. How awesome <laughs> would that be? I'm so upset at Lexa. She needs a freaking... 
anyway, we're talking about the 100 here. Yeah, no the 100s. Oh, the 100? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dude, seriously, the 100 is, I rank it better than Flash and Arrow oh. and Walking Dead. All of them. Ooh. I know. I know. That's That's I don't know. I was shocked <laughs> myself. I think it's a good show, but I don't know if it can rank over the... Ooh, I think how far are you getting to it? Me? Yeah. yeah. Have you watched I've it watched all of it. You've watched I'm even season up. two? Of what? The 100? Yeah. Yeah, I, I watch that at Hulu Plus. Okay. Oh, dang. Well, well that, yeah. freaking, that freaking I'm, finale, the mountain, right? <laughs> and the mountain's all done and all that stuff. Oh, dude, I... Oh. That show is so good. It's satisfying. That's so really... good. I yeah. I really do think it's better. Like it, it yeah. goes it crosses more lines. It has it's better really character cool. development. Very Freaking good. Octavia. Like that character development is insane. I don't know. But I mean I don't I don't like the lead better, character so. though. Wait, what, who, what's Clark? her name? The blonde chick. I love Clark. What's wrong with Clark? Clark is Clark. awesome. The thing is, but Clark's being toured a hundred different ways. Exactly. That's yeah. why yeah. she's so yeah. awesome. And I don't I don't like dealing with it. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything <laughs> wrong with that. <laughs> she's there's like, a love yeah, and she's there's... got lots of conflict and like, she's dealing with it all she's like a boss. Thousands of people. Exactly. That's why she uh, she had she's to freaking, she's chief. <laughs> yeah she had to walk away like a like a freaking superhero at the end you know. Yeah. Which is awesome. <laughs> so um, we're running a little bit late, but. I could, I do want to ask Nate those questions. Yeah, <laughs> you we know? can do that and we can do the drop, the drop. Yeah, I mean, we're already an hour in, but we can spare another five, ten minutes. You know, there's a special guest episode. I think it's true. That's right. It's true. It's true. We, we don't know when we'll ever get this opportunity again. <laughs> right. We don't. Yeah, it's true. We don't. So, so hammer them. Let's see okay. what's, what's going on. So, Eric, do you, do you want to ask a question first? Uh, yeah, okay. uh, I'll ask a question. Dang. How much have you played of The Last of Us? Okay. Dang, you're getting think? right in there. <laughs> Let me think. Um, I can't remember where I'm at. At least have you played the – I think you've said something about yes, the first. Yes, I think you did, yeah. Yep. I'm into the first act, if not close to the end of it, the second one. Okay. So yeah, I, I put so a few awesome. hours into it. That game is so, so I'm awesome. Guess, have you met Ellie? Little girl? I think he okay. should have by now. I think I, mean, I just met her. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember. I would have to it play could, it quick. Uh, yeah, if you have just that. met her, you're about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Ellie, what do you mean Ellie? Ellie. Like. The little like, girl in after 20 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm way past that. Okay. okay. I'm way, way past that. Um, I, I would have to say I'm five, five, six hours into it. Have you killed? Okay. Well. You've met Robert, I assume. You yep. did the whole Robert thing. Um, yep. Then you followed Marlene, and then you got Ellie, oh, okay. and then Ellie. Uh, you did take you... her to the safe room. Yeah. Did you get um? Did you get out with Ellie yet? Like, did you go through the? The skyscrapers. Yeah, like at night. Yes. Not... Yep. Okay. Yep. I did. Yep. I did that, that. and then I fun. got. I started hanging upside down. That was. A... Oh, okay. Whoa, you're. Oh, you're, dang, you're, you're at, uh... Yeah. Oh, See, I played it name? there for a while. That's pretty cool. That's that's. I can't not remember his name anymore. That's so. That's a decent amount of progress. Give uh, me another one. All right. <laughs> Why won't you move your PS4 into your <laughs> gaming room? Just out of curiosity. I feel I feel console play is way better on a big screen TV than a little that twenty three inch that I have. If you play it though. That's the thing. If it's in I know, this but... room, you play it more. Like I if know, all my stuff I know. is right here, I can switch from PC to Borderlands in like two seconds. <laughs> Well, and right now that's that's what we watch our Hulu, our Netflix, yeah. our Blu-ray, all on our PS4 right now. I don't know, so. man. All they I'm make, saying is that you can do the uh, same. The Blu-ray players that have Netflix and Blu-ray. Your PS3 are... has all of that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, oh. PS3 is hooked up in our bedroom, so we can watch stuff in there. Oh my <laughs> gosh. gosh, dang it! I just bought a 32-inch TV for it there. I don't know. It just bums me out because it's always like, because earlier today you were like, "What do you want to play?" and I was like. Well, I'd love to play some Destiny Crucible, some Last of Us multiplayer, <laughs> some Hell Divers, maybe some Diablo on P like <laughs> but you're just like, yeah, nah, PC, I'm just gonna hang in here. <laughs> but I love PC. I uh, love PC. Man. 
Peace period. Period. That's just what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Any other questions you got for me? Hmm. Come on. I mean, that's honestly it. Like, I just that's want to it. be able to okay. like play PS4 play games. <laughs> games with you. Because <laughs> like, there's I'll, only so I'll many games I can do. That I think. I, I think in the Steam. future. I think. Now that stuff's starting to cool down with my new job, right, and everything's coming up, I think I'll start be playing now more on. Yeah, on it's PS4. just like I only I only have so many games on PC, and like all the games that I really like and are am like currently enjoying is like almost mm-hmm. always there. So. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, like uh, you got into Evolve for a bit on PS4. That was cool. Yeah, I got into Evolve for a while, and I actually want to get back into it because I guess some new content's coming out here. Yeah, pretty soon I think it, I think it's already, it's already out. Is it, it out? New, Did it come out last week or something like that? I think so yeah, it's like okay. it's, no, it's the same time that Bloodborne came out. I think. Oh Ooh. yeah, well then two weeks ago. So, but no, yeah, I, I got I got a few hours in the, into Evolve, and that was I like Evolve. I think that's a yeah. fun game, but it it's was, like another game you have to play with friends. Yeah. yeah. That's it's true. not. It gets boring really fast. I don't yeah. know. I like playing with friends, and I feel like it's harder to play with friends. Well, I can play with Which you guys. Yeah, we are weird. like we are like almost always like there. If you wanted to mm-hmm. jump on and play anything, or even just play something and talk in party chat, like me and Eric are almost always. Especially Eric lately with that freaking Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Never <laughs> off. He's just always on Bloodborne. Oh, but I died yeah, again. Like, <laughs> me, and, me and Eric. I think it was like Thursday. Or Saturday, I don't know. Like we were both, I think we were both just playing Bloodborne and talking. Yep. We were just hanging out, playing some game Bloodborne. I saw you guys got into uh, what's that game on PC? Uh, uh, Elder Scrolls Online. For a while. Oh, yeah, Elder Scrolls Online. It's, that game's yeah. awesome. That, it's that's that's a really good MMO. It's a really good game. It's I thought about buying it, but I was like, well, I buy it, and then you guys were like, yeah, we don't play it anymore. I'm honestly like one of my. I told Eric this the other day. I just to get on PS4. I don't know yeah. why. I play with Gabby. That's freaking. Oh. Like I, I'm very excited for that to come to PS4 because. I mean, yeah, you have. Like um, I said, like that's where I play my games. Just, yeah, and and I hope Ryan can get into it. But like on on one of the things with me is with PC is that I honestly don't have the best PC. I can run most everything, but that's about mm-hmm. it. Like I can't like on like. Borderlands 2 is a good example. Like, I can play it on PC, but I play it on low settings, and it's a constant 30, sometimes, a lot of the time, really dipping down to, like, 25, 20. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I wouldn't have to, like, I don't have to worry about it. Like, I just open it up, and it Mm -hmm. plays the game. That's my Mm -hmm. biggest thing about consoles. Like, I I don't know. Like, like Elder Scrolls Online, it's very well optimized, but, like, I can just open it up and play it, and trophies. (laughs) Trophies, true. Yeah, I also really like trophies, so <laughs> that's also a deal. But yeah, dude, Elder Scrolls is good. It's a, it's a really good game. Though. I, I want to play that the again. The side quests are meaningful. Yeah, the side quests are really cool. Like it's the only MMO that I've ever like actually paid attention to the quests <laughs> and like what I'm doing because it makes sense. Yeah, it's cool. Well, like there was one side quest where someone comes up to you. <clears throat> And you're like, hey, help us. There's a thing, ritual, evil ritual going on. And then there's a giant storm in the back. What happens you're... about that quest that's so awesome is that, they, yeah, she didn't say, hey, there's this big ritual. She was like, hey, help me find my crew members. There was a hurricane. Uh, we, I, gotta, I lost these guys. I don't know where they are. So we go, we find them all on the beach, and we find one of them who's, like, injured and dead with, like, it's a corpse. He's not injured. But he's got, like, ritual markings all over him. And we're like, oh, okay, there's something weird going on. Let's go ask this other captain over here. And he's like, hey, it's probably these dudes. And we're like, oh, kill these dudes, find some information about them. And we swim out to their giant boat. And, and we're literally swimming into a thunderstorm. Yeah, and then we kill, the like, two guys that are, like, down. calling down lightning. And then the storm calms. And the quest is complete. And you go turn it in. And I was like. Yeah, it was just like quest. Yeah, that was just a side quest. That's so cool. That's it. Elder Scrolls Online is awesome. I want to play a little bit more of that. But I thought about buying it, but I was like, eh, it's sixty yeah. bucks. But yeah, dude. Um, if you maybe if, if it goes on sale. Yeah, <laughs> but if you ever like freaking Last of Us multiplayer is a great example. That that multiplayer is solid, really multiplayer. really solid. So 
So if you ever want to just hop on there and play something, just like send us a party invite, and we're we're, we're most likely on. You okay. Just chat and play on this. So. Cool, cool. All right. The drop, PlayStation Powerhouse Ryan Clements, as always, every Sunday. Let's uh, cover this. What you can get on your PlayStation platform in the upcoming Tuesdays. Tuesday, and sometimes other days. Yes. When they're weird, like the order. <laughs> Let's see. Aru's Awakening, PS4 and PS3, cro- uh, cross by. Not sure what Ooh. that is. Looks interesting. The art mm-hmm. style looks cool. Here, Bastion I'll, I'll put it on this. Big what? game. Oh, yeah, I Bastion, play. PS4, which is A the people. people like yeah, Super Giant Games, I believe. Uh, the people that made Transistor, which is an awesome game. It was free on PlayStation Plus. Um, that is coming out. That was like their first game, or one of their first games. Mm-hmm. But it originally launched on 360 and PC, and now it'll be on PS4. So I was thinking about getting that, but it, I don't know. I got too many other games. Dark Souls <laughs> 2, Scholar of the First Sin, PS4, awesome. PS3, which is the remastered Dark Souls 2, 60 FPS, 1080p, PS4 version. And not just upgraded graphics and performance, they also updated a bunch of the encounters and uh, enemies and where they're spawning at and how they act in AI in general. So that's it's a pretty big cool. overhaul. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I like when remaster versions like change stuff, like GTA Five from last gen to current gen. Like they added the first person mode and all sorts of stuff right. to really change the game. Element four. I or elemental. L? It's elemental, but the f- wow, wow, elemental, but the four is supposed to be the A. Well, they can say we that not do this four ever? Elements. There's can- four elements. <laughs> and uh, not four an elements. Four not, elements. Not that excuse. game is awesome. <laughs> I've seen someone play it, and it's this little platformer puzzle, but it's really immersive. Cool. And- oh, it's for the Vita. Might pick that up actually. If if it's like ten bucks or under, I might. Maybe. It's really quality too. It's not just some cheap. Yeah. Cool. Game. Highlight of the week. Eric's highlighting Elemental for the PS Vita digital. Yeah. <laughs> Crinkle Crusher PS4 PS3 PS Vita oh, digital you, right UA yeah. crossbody. Which <laughs> Crinkle Crush? Dude, this looks like some Dungeon Defenders clone. It does. Kind it of. really does. Crinkle Crusher is an action castle defense where you yep. cast elemental spells to defend your kingdom. All right. Um, four elements. Four elements. <laughs> <laughs> Monster bag for the PS Vita. The Vita. I'm not sure what that is. I, I think that's one of the free PS Plus games, actually. Yeah, I think it is. Huh. Um, Stealth Inc. 2, a game of clones. Some of you might remember Stealth Inc. 1, a clone in the dark which is an awesome game. I have not beaten it yet. I am nowhere close to beating it, beating it but You're I had it on my Vita. It was, uh, I think I I think I might have bought it. It might have been free, I don't know. Yeah. But um, it was originally for the Wii U, or the Wii, not sure, They put PC, then they ported it over to the Vita and the PS4 and the PS3. So now they have the sequel coming to all three, which is awesome. It's a really, really cool, like, puzzle game. It's It's hard. So I, yeah. if I ever beat the first one, then I would go to the second one. Tower of and the last one, Tower of Guns, PS4, PS3, which is the uh, one of the free PlayStation Plus games that we'll get on Tuesday. Tower of Guns is a fast-paced bullet hell first-person shooter with randomized levels and enemies, power-ups, epic bosses, and tons of unlockable items and weapons. Sounds good to me. Honestly, Honestly sounds all right. Like I'm gonna try that. Game. I'm gonna try that. I, I mean, it's free and it's called Tower of Guns, so. I'll Can't try be- um, <laughs> also, what was what is the uh, games of the month? Oh, dude, we didn't go over that. That's a whole big thing. Yeah, uh, um, let me see. I'll find these real quick. We'll go over the April PS Plus games super quick. Because yeah. it's good. Spoilers, it's a good month. <laughs> Last month was really good, too. February was pretty awesome. February was uh, Transistor and Infamous First Light, right? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. The first light might have been January. I don't know. But yeah, Transistor yeah, was, was this January. month. Transistor is a great game. Um, okay, April's PlayStation Plus games. This came out this week. I forgot about this. Tower of Guns, PS4, PS3. Um, on this, it says, a game that needs little introdu- introduction. Why? Because it's a tower filled with guns. Exclamation <laughs> point. That's, that's yeah. the description. 
Um, <laughs> Never Alone for PS4, which is a uh, a puzzle game, it looks like. Um, Aru's Awakening for PS3 and PS4. I'm saving the best two for last. Um, Monster Bag, which is one of the ones we talked about before, which is a video game. And then the two best ones. Killzone Mercenary PS Vita, which is supposedly one of the best Vita games, which yep. I have been wanting to buy for a long time, but it's like oh, it was like 30, 35 bucks, so I was like, nah. Oh. Super excited to get that. I've been wanting to get that for like a year. Um I freaked out when I read this in my car when I was on break. I read I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw free April PS Plus games and I was like, ooh, cool. I like freaked out. And then also Dishonored for PS3, which is also a awesome. really awesome game. I have that game. Yeah. It's a sweetest game. It's yeah, a- I've heard for like years that it's awesome and I've and never gotten it. a chance to it. try it. I beat it too and it was it was a success. That was one of my probably I would say top 10 favorite beatable games that nice. I played. Yeah, I'm so, I'm super was, excited for that. And that happens I, okay. I felt achieved after I beat that. Nice. I'm that makes- I, I'm super excited. Like I've heard that about that game for so long. There's a lot. They can probably. There's look the the, um, the trophies are really cool too, so you like that. Next platinum. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I only have two platinums. I'm never gonna platinum games because I'm playing so many different ones. I can't like focus on one unless it's an infamous it's game or an uncharted game. Easy to platinum, dude. No, no. But see, that I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna finish it and be like, "Oh, I'll platinum that someday," and then I'll go back to my 20 other <laughs> unfinished games on PS4. It's true. I also have a ton of games on my Vita that I haven't finished. I still want to finish Persona. I'm gonna yeah. do it eventually. Platinum it. I'm getting close to <laughs> my god. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Platinuming Persona <laughs> takes like two, three hundred hours, legitimately. What? <laughs> yeah, it's huge. You have to replay it multiple times, like the no, whole no, yeah. No. Yeah, it's insane. That's the worst platinum ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, uh. Andrew Goldfarb and Christine Steimer. Goldfarb used to be a member of Podcast Beyond. Um, him and Steimer and Greg Miller made a bet that if Greg Miller platinumed Persona by the end of last year, he would get to, like, they would have a pizza party of, like, Persona <laughs> Platinums, and they'd have a little pizza party, and they'd eat pizza. But if he didn't platinum it, they would have a pizza party – but he would have to not eat and just sit there, oh, and no. they would have pizza. And he didn't. He didn't platinum it, so Dang, they have to have your, that was pizza. Was he going hard at it too? Like, was yeah, he, he was. He was trying for the first like couple of months, and then he was like, "This is this is too much." It's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. But I might try if Uncharted Four when that comes out. Yeah. I don't know. I really, <laughs> I really hope that dang Uncharted trilogy comes out in uh, in the fall because kind of that. I really want to add that to my E3 predictions. You next week yeah. you should come up with a fourth one so that I can add Uncharted trilogy announced for the fall because I want that. To what happen. about you, Nate? Do you have any <laughs> predictions for E3? Oh gosh. For E3? Yeah. yeah. What, what do you think they're gonna announce or talk about? That's big. What they're gonna show me? Oh, you think they'll maybe they'll show uh, EverQuest next? I really hope they show EverQuest next. That would be so awesome. I, I bet they will. I, I yeah. they probably will because they've gone. It's almost uh, I think here in a little bit it'll be EverQuest next landmarks one year. Yeah, that's been out, and uh, I think because what once they said it, if EverQuest next is out for one year, that's when they'll start doing alpha and beta testing for EverQuest uh, yeah. next. Cool. So. So once that comes out, you won't yeah. see me on anything else other than <laughs> EverQuest next. Yeah. So that, that's that's what I've been saying about Persona Five. Like once that game comes out, I'm like, see it until it's. Yep. Done. Yep. Yep. But so. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I guess that's all we got for this week. We went extra long. Uh, it's. Yeah. yeah, we're an hour and twenty four minutes in. <laughs> this is the longest one we've had. So, I'm down mm-hmm. with that. Eric, do you have anything random to show oh. before we end? We, yes, we do this thing. Have, Eric um, shows something random and then we end. I don't know why. It's just been a thing. I have Easter-themed <laughs> chocolate, Dove chocolates, and milk chocolate. The best things ever. Also, bless. Also, happy <laughs> Easter. Happy everyone. Easter. Happy Easter. Woo. You know yes. what I should do? I should see if 
Oh snap! You zap. Oh, here we go. Here no, we go. I want to see go. if I can put. <laughs> I want to see if there's Google effects for like bunny ears. You know? <laughs> I bet there is. Oh no, there's no bunny ears. There's, there's cat. Oh, that's so lame. You know what? Here, everyone have a party hat for Easter. Yay! Yay. It's somebody's Yay. birthday somewhere. So we're in someone's Happy Easter. Not working for mine, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't hey, know my birthday is. was last Thursday, also, I guess. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, last let's, random thing. Let's, let's clap. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, last random thing. Uh. Decapitated bunny. Oh, decapitated chuckle bunny. Here's his head. Dang. So, yeah. See you guys next week. <laughs> With something a little bye -bye. Less weird. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See you next week. <laughs>